Hi, in this episode we're in Albany and the surrounding area of the south coast in WA. Yeah, we also venture up to the Stirling Ranges to do some hiking and we start off this episode in the Parongarup National Park to do Castle Rock. So hope you enjoy it. Just hiking this morning at Parongarup National Park, just doing Castle Rock and there's a big um, granite sort of skywalk at the top which looks really cool on the pictures so we'll see what it's like when I get up there. It is a bit cloudy today, like really low cloud but yeah I'm just hoping it'll still be a good view if I get up there. Up 300 meters from the summit now and it, all these boulders are appearing which are pretty cool. Look at that big beauty just balancing away and um, I've been pretty sheltered all the way up but I can hear the wind just roaring today. It's going to be interesting on the top. Might get a bit windy. It's this section where it splits here. Great skywalk and then the Kari lookout. So I'll go up the skywalk first, which is climbing up these bars here. A bit weird. <laughs> and you get to this bit, you got to go up this ladder. Bit. You come up that skywalk and then you're onto this. It's pretty different than the top of the big cliff. Pretty good view actually. It's just cleared up for me, which is brilliant. It's just a big cloud this morning. Just bolted on here onto the rock. Long way down. Let's just get to this view point here. Oh, wind's kicking in. Oh, it just drops off. Oh, it's a bit unnerving. Cracking view though. Yeah, this is it, just bolted in. Here in Albany and there's this beautiful Tudor style building which is the Albany Rest Centre and it's great free showers in here and it's a um, women's rest centre. Built in 1908 and still used today. It's really cool. Great big building but yeah good way to Grab a free shower while you're in town in Albany. We're literally here, we can't get in any of the caravan sites, they're all full. There's a big um, long weekend and a big classic car race over the weekend as well. So we're sort of free camping around the area, but coming here dressed to grab a shower, which is cool. We're just down now at the Gap and the Natural Bridge, just south of Albany. And they're right next to each other. Right, there's the the natural bridge down there. We're just walking up to the gap up here, just behind us. Whoa, a long way down. <laughs> Looking at the natural bridge, it's just a big archway. This is an old whaling station here, the last whaling station in Australia, so the last one to close up shop, which is good. Yeah, one of the old whaling boats, beach here called Salmon Holes. Heading down now to the beach. Beautiful. I'll look at a fish down here as well. I want to see what it is. So many people fishing down here. So 
so maybe it's the time for salmon. Salmon coming here apparently into this bay. There's a lot of people fishing all the way along. God, it's beautiful down here. That's a good one! <laughs> what a beautiful bay this is! I can't get over it, it's amazing! I just walked down from our camping spot, cosy corner, and this is it here, right on the beach literally a minute's walk away of this beautiful big beach. Here's a bandicoot. It looks like a big rat but it's actually a bandicoot. Mr. Bandicoot. Tam, he's under the step. We're just down in Albany today on a Sunday, long weekend. It's WA day tomorrow. So much going on here. There's a big car racing in town that we've just seen. There's something like this going on there. It's flying. It's looking to be cold today. I don't think you've seen that person with a big hat. And there's a load more just getting in here. The water's got to be baltingly cold. Proper cold today. Really nice. Beautiful blue sky. Hammered it down overnight. It's nice now. Here's a little snippet of the classic car racing from behind the, the fencing. This is the Brig Amity here. It's um, a replica boat built to recognise the boats that were brought over for the first settlers in 1826. The replica of that's pretty cool, you can get on it. Just a free thing you can do here. Sam's just steering the boat, moving the wheels, moving this rudder. It goes out the back. Pretty cool. This was down inside the boat. It's a bit dark in here but you can get a good idea have their sleeping quarters and, and around the boat. Tiny little holes in here just to sleep in. It's so low in here, it's crazy. It's amazing. Little hammock set up, proper got to crawl through here. Like it's super low, it's crazy. How oh, good is this? Let's go downstairs. Crikey, that's cramped. in the bottom of the boat now. Oh, you can see the bend of the bottom of the ship. That's brilliant. How cool is that? Where have they stored all the food and stuff? Oh, my neck. 
list of provisions. viewing of Albany here, the city centre. That's Clarence Mountain up there on the top, all the Anzac stuff. And then Albany in the middle here, boy in the background. Still hear the car racing going on in town. They're just in street laps. Pretty cool. Definitely a storm coming in, look at that. It's about to erupt. Beautiful colour in the water though. Just down there and then the wind farm in the background. In the back there. I'll wait for a nicer day I think to go to that. But yeah, lightning and everything. So it's a rainy day so we've come to the um, Museum of the Great Southern and we're in the schoolhouse and we've found the sand pendulum to play with. So show us what you're playing with Dave. Yeah, so I fill this with sand, let it go, and it creates a symmetrical pattern. Perfectly symmetrical. Oh, that's cool. Let's speed this up a bit. <laughs> Ta -da. That's my pattern. That's pretty good. And then we're going to the old schoolhouse here. So, constructed in 1925. So, give you an idea of an old schoolhouse. Oh, wicked. <laughs> Hello. We're learning. Oh, this is pretty good, isn't it? It's really cool. Proper old school. Apart from the air conditioning unit. <laughs> the old chalkboard. So, the old desks. Brilliant. Just in the bathroom here in the museum, and I've got to show you this cool feature I've never seen before. So to get out the door, instead of getting the germs on the handle, you press this step foot. It's got a cool little gripper on it. So you just step on that, opens the door. Genius. So this is Dog Rock here, if you can make it out. You can see the collar of the dog and just the dog's head and nose. That's what it's meant to be, Dog Rock. Cool, just popped into Woolworths. Best time last minute on a Sunday because everything was reduced and I got like a packet of mints for 70 cents, sausages for 65 cents, chicken breasts for, 60, uh, for 85 cents. Just absolute bargain. Everything was like 90% off. So, um, yeah, stocked up. Put it in the freezer. The weather is well and truly broken for us. We've had such a good spell up to Esperance. And our last day in Esperance was really wet. And then, oh, last night here just hammered it down. Like just windy as. And then all day today, it's just been on off. Rain showers, hasn't it? Yeah, it's just fronts we've constantly we've coming through. Stuff in the windows but of we've it still, not raining. Yeah, we've ticked off loads of stuff today, which is great. But um, oh, on, we just got put, we just got back in the van and toileted Lulu before it starts to rain again. So yeah, it's putting a fair bit down, but it's, it's going to be dry from tomorrow, hopefully. So that'd be good. Back on the beach. Back on the beach. Each time you visit a new town, you should always check out the information centres. We do, they give you all the top tips of what's best to do in the area. And um, Kylie here in Albany was absolutely fantastic. And they even give you like a little print out with like 57 things to go and do, which is, yeah, really cool, keep us busy. I'm just up from Albany here, just on a little day trip. We've come out to a place called Little Beach. Wait till you see this. <laughs> Look at this. It doesn't get much better than that. That is just... Oh, that's mind-blowing, isn't it? That is really nice. 
What a beautiful setting. Just, just come up on the rocks here on the side to get a better view of the bay. People lounge in the background. And this beautiful water of sand again. It's a magical corner of the world is this. Really, really nice. The colour of the water is just insane. So turquoisey blue. Can't get over the colour of this water. It's just crystal clear. It's just beautiful. God, it's so good. It's actually a pretty good temperature as well. Can't resist putting the drone up for a quick flyby of this beach. Just absolutely loved it here. So, so nice. Just sped the footage up a bit here. But it looks good. I'm still a bit jerky with the old footage, so sorry about that. And speeding it up doesn't make it any better. Just down now at Emu Point which is just again along from Albany. Nice spot, big fishing area, um, sorry, not fishing, a swimming spot there in the middle. That's cornered off swimming area. Real flat water here, just a big, like a lagoony bay coming in. People fishing on the edge. Tamalulu, just on and off rain today. You can see the quality of the water again, just here even. Just literally crystal clear. Really nice. Turn around into the sun and the harbour in the background. Double rainbow. That's a beauty. Look at that one. <laughs> Look, that's a lie over. Let's get a photo of that. This awesome rainbow just landed in the sea. It's literally in the sea there and zooms all the way over to the other side. Another one in the sea. So bright. That is incredibly bright. That is cool. Here's the wind farm. Pretty cool to be this close to them. They're massive. A real cool noise coming off them as well. Just a whooshing noise. And then um, we're camping right in the distance there, just to the right of that rainstorm. This cozy corner where we've got the caravan. It's nice and cozy. And then, yeah, the wind farm here is cool. And then over the back is Albany. I'll just walk to the top of this hill and show you Albany. This is the viewpoint for Albany. So it's right there. You see the port on the right hand side, the big white building, and then town's right in the middle. And they said that that rainbow just going off a bit there. Just a little time lapse of the sunset. Which is pretty cool with the wind turbines flying around. Just watching sunset over this rainstorm is just going to overtake it. Which is so annoying. It was a brilliant sunset. But I might have to rush to the car because it's just going to get soaked. You can see the wind by the turbines just picked up when this rainstorm hit. What a beautiful spot though. It's really nice. Like all the way along these, gorgeous, really beautiful. Just up here in the Stirling Ranges north of Albany, I'm just going to tackle Bluff Knoll. 
which is this monster here. So six and a half K, looks pretty steep. Let's see how it goes. There's a fair bit of altitude to gain here, I think. <laughs> when I look up to the top there, it's a big one. I'm halfway up now. Since you're going straight up the main face, I thought we'd go sort of around the back, but it's going straight up there. So there's the car park down at the bottom, just on that other knoll there. Pretty cool view already. It's mad, there's another mountain range over there with Mount Trio, which is another beauty over there. But onwards and upwards. God, it's a bit unnerving up here. You're proper close to the edge, all the way up. Not good for the old vertigo. It's a bit sketchy. But the views are probably good. Insanely good view. I've just come round the back now, on the back of the bluff. And um, this is the view. <laughs> Pretty special, that. What a glorious view. Big lakes in there, salt lakes. And I think that's out to Albany. I think that's a sea in the distance. And Albany right in the middle. Pretty cool view that. We're just carrying on. It's just about 400 metres left. Just very near the summit here. This could freak me out. Oh, <laughs> it's a long way down. Not getting any closer than that. I'm here at the top. Made it to the bluff. Bluff and all top. And it's big. Good climb that. And there's the view up here. Mount Trio. And another mountain range there. Come through into the sun unfortunately. But there's the car park right down in the bottom. The end of the road. And that cool road all the way out. And then yeah unfortunately right into the sun there. But pretty epic. And then there's all this mountain as well out the back. Bird just hovering up there looking for dinner. And then you come all the way around onto these flat plains and Albany in the distance. It's glorious up here. Incredible. It's a hell of a drop off the edge. I wish I'd brought the drone up because it's still as can be. So flying the drone off the edge here would have been just brilliant. But so be it. I never brought it, but. That is cool. That is a proper good, proper good hike. So yeah, nice one. Better get down. Only an hour to get up, which is easy. So it's meant to be a four hour return, but yeah, nowhere near. This is just out the back as well. The track sort of stops, you've got to go back the same way, but you can understand why, because you can't really carry on along here. Just a big drop into a cavern down there. And loads more mountains. Beautiful, isn't it? It's nice to have a little rock scramble down. It's almost easier than walking, I think. It's pretty good. <laughs> as long as I don't go wrong. Super concentration. Yeah. Don't really want to get this wrong up here, but it's good fun. Better get back to it. We've had a fantastic time in Albany, but we're moving on today and we're heading west. Yep, yeah, we've had a good few days here. Weather's been a bit hit and miss, but we've made the most of it and still got loads done. So much to see and do here. It's really surprised us. It's a pretty big town as well and loads of history going back. Like there's buildings there that are 1835, it's crazy. And um, yeah, loads of history with the war and all the troops came here from Australia and New Zealand back at the start of the First World War and 30,000 troops gathered here to then go and get on the ships to go to the UK to help fight the war. So yeah, it's really cool. And um, I read as well that it's the first, first place in WA that got sort of um, civilization really as far as the Western man's concerned. So yeah, it's a pretty cool place. So. Time to move on though, and um, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Take care.